Today's top stories. Mehdi Karabi, the former Speaker of Iran's Majlis, the Secretary General of the Etemad Mali Party, and one of the two most serious rivals of President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in Iran's June 12th presidential election, yesterday criticized Ahmadinejad. He said, quote, This president, Ahmadinejad, does not have the necessary capability to run the country. If he had management ability, we would not have been in this situation right now. According to Aftab news agency Karabi, who was speaking at a gathering of students, political activists, and teachers in the central province city of Iraq, and added, quote, The government is weak and has not succeeded in improving the livelihood of the people, because the management of the country is unstable, and as long as it remains thus, one cannot expect anything to be done for the people. Karabi also noted that the supporters of Ahmadinejad had disrupted his speech at the Sayyadah Mosque of Iraq the day before, and said, quote, in previous elections, they thought they could drive their opponents away from the arena through physical violence. We have today prepared ourselves for the worst situation. While the election headquarters of the coalition government in its fourth communique reported that Mohsen Rezaei would stand in the upcoming presidential election as an independent candidate, today the Public Relations Office of the Expediency Council released a statement announcing that he still has not come to a firm decision regarding his participation and candidacy in the election. According to ISNA, the statement by the Public Relations Office of the Expediency Council in part reads, quote, As there have been many requests for Dr. Mohsen Rezaei, the Secretary of the Expediency Council, to stand for the 10th round of presidential elections as a candidate, he will announce his stance in the next few days in an official statement. At the same time and also according to IRNA, the website Yarani Baran also reported that Mohammed Bagheer Khalibouf, the mayor of Tehran and a member of the election headquarters of the coalition government, he will neither become a candidate nor the head of the Iran state television. According to this report, Tehran's mayor said, quote, We have announced this matter to the public so that the actions of the mayor's office would not be tainted with having political aims. He added that he hopes with the announcement of his withdrawal, from now on the government would not prevent Tehran access to public facilities and benefits. Israel's President Shimon Peres on Thursday told visiting Chinese Foreign Minister Yang Yichi that Beijing has a central role in efforts to curtail Iran's nuclear ambitions. He said, quote, China has a central role in the struggle against Iran's nuclear development. At the head of the Iranian state stands a fanatical religious leader who supports terror, war, and bloodshedding. China, one of six major powers working on the Iranian nuclear dossier, has been reluctant to impose further sanctions against the Islamic Republic. These stories and more are televisionwashington.com.